morning. I'll wait for a couple seconds to see who comes on here to join me today. I'm excited to paint. Hi, Rosemary. Hi, Barbara. Joanne. How are you guys? Hi, Angie. Welcome. <clears throat> Hi, Gail in Canada. Good morning, Allie. How are you? Hi, Gloria. So today, um, I asked again if people want acrylics or oils for me to paint. And actually, it's usually almost equally divided, which is very interesting. But not really, because I'm always equally divided, too. I enjoy, like, here's my latest I've been playing around with. Um, yeah, I'm loving it. Like the hard thing though with acrylics for me is knowing when to be finished. But I love all like the textures and stuff and that I'm having a lot of fun with it. <clears throat> but today we're going to do blueberries because I took that photo yesterday and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, hi to Turkey. I have a friend, one of my college friends lives in Turkey. I've never been there. But how fun. I'm glad you're joining me from Turkey. What time is it? Hi, Kathy. Hi, Mary. Let me get this adjusted. It's, it's such a hard choice. I agree. Hi, Artie. So I'm going to kind of play with something different today. I was watching a video last night before I went to bed, which is, I won't turn this around for a minute which is what I often do. It's like I get up and I do my art and then I work all day. I've been doing websites for other artists and I'm my graphic design stuff. So I'm usually very busy, fit in my walk. If any of you follow me, you know that I go see Frankie almost every day at the farm, <clears throat> the donkey, and um, try and fit in yoga and other things like that. But um, before I go to sleep at night, I usually try to fit in time to learn. And last night I was listening to um, a lesson on using complementary colors. So we're gonna play with that today. I'm just gonna use a very limited palette of blues and oranges and I think white. I might have to add something in if I can't make it work, but I figure this is a pretty good one to practice one since it's technically a blue painting, but whatever colors I can mix from those. So I should paint the donkey. I think that is gonna have to happen. Okay, so I'll turn it back around here. I'm glad you enjoy the live lessons. I enjoy it, actually. I love that you guys all come and hang out with me in the morning. So I'm just gonna, I cleaned my palette off since I'm trying um, just to do complementary colors, so I didn't want to have too many colors here because then I'll dip into. Okay, all right. See ya. Um, what red do I want? I need a red. Hi, D. How are you? <clears throat> I'm gonna try perylene red. It's fun to mix things up and use different colors sometimes. But I just put three colors out here to do my, you know what? How about, I was thinking about this and now I'm not gonna be able to remember it. But I wanna see if I have my um, burnt, burnt sienna. Maybe I'll do a burnt sienna. Um, here, do you wanna watch me go through my crazy paints? Here's my, the bin of paints that I have here. I have some of them in New Hope where I'm filming my workshop. But this is just the bin of paints that I do have some more if I can see it in here, but there it is. I think I'm going to try a burnt sienna base today. And then get, instead of doing all the different um, transparent colors. That's the thing I love about art. It never gets boring because there's, oh, and burnt sienna is in the orange family for, for, for the blue orange complementary. Oh, I can't get this open. So the trick is, do you know this trick? If you can't get your paint tubes open, you use these needle nose pliers or whatever they're called, and right away it opens right up. Just in case you didn't know that. You guys will all say, of course I knew that. Okay, I'll put them away. 
And so, and I'm, I've been playing around with painting on canvas. This is, instead of doing my um, ampersand gesso panels, this is a gallery wrap canvas. Um, which I do find the sides a little tricky, although I think I could just leave them white and it would be fine. But like I've, I've framed a lot of these for my new um, collection that I'm going to release next week. And um, I like the sides painted, so something else I'm experimenting with. But I'm not going to worry about the sides today for our thing because it's a little messy when I try and go around and put paint on the sides. I end up getting it all over myself. And I already have paint all over myself from cleaning my palette this morning. So how is everybody? Is everybody good? Having a good week so far? I also came into my studio a little, or I woke up early this morning, but I was working on, I have a journal. I always want to do kind of journaling and paint in a journal. That always looks so fun to me. And I'm going to, on vacation in a couple of weeks, so I'm coding my pages so that I can paint in there. So that I guess it helps the pages not to warp or not to absorb too much paint. I think I'm going to take acrylics along with me. I'm not sure. I'm never sure. All right, I'm just going to wipe off a little bit so I don't have too much. So this is just a burnt sienna base. It'd be fun to do it with a bright color too. But since I'm going to try here, I'm going to do my best to do a monic or a what is it called? Complementary color painting. Um, I'm just going to mark where some of my lighter areas are. <clears throat> of my road map so I feel confident that I'm getting things where I want them yeah so I used I have uh, phone envy my husband got the newer iPhone <clears throat> recently and I used his phone to photograph these look at the detail like it's so pretty you can see look at those different colors do you see them in there so pretty like I need I need the new iPhone that is a need, not a want. He never even takes pictures. It's really kind of not coming off there very well, is it? I think it really soaked in. So what's new with everybody? Resettling into this new time. I had to be careful I didn't post the wrong time again. I didn't. I got it right. I did get up this morning just to double check that I didn't tell you the wrong time. So I have to go, after we're finished here, I have to go with my daughter to get her senior pictures done for the yearbook. She'll be a senior in high school, my youngest. And, um, you know, it's crazy because with all the new COVID stuff going on, like, no one, like, can touch you. So I have to go along with her to drape her because I hear that the other girls had trouble getting the drape on for the photo if no one was there to help them. Would you, would your medium on the paper towel remove some of the highlights? Oh, that's a good idea. I want me to try. Let me try that. Ellen, you're so smart. Let's give that a try and see what we get. Let me see here. I got some on my paper towel. That might. Well, look at that. Great idea, Ellen. That does that. Definitely pulls that out more. You are so smart. Good. It's kind of dreamy looking like this, like the old sepia, sepia photos. All right, let me clean my brush off. Put this away. 
and I'm gonna turn you guys over this way. You know this is always noisy. I'll move my coffee. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, I've been super busy with getting my collection all ready to go. That's a big project. And then also um, working on my online workshop. I want that, getting that ready to kind of market it and release that. I've been feeling super busy. <clears throat> okay, did I? I can't remember. I think that's my Indian yellow. That's what I put out. Indian yellow, cadmium yellow deep. I should keep these separate in case I need more. And then this is cadmium, oh, cadmium yellow deep. I thought this was orange, an orange color, but that's okay, I'm gonna use this. I mean, it certainly is an orange color. It's just not the orange I thought it was. So, and I have my ultramarine blue. I wonder, well, I can use my video blue extra pale that I love as a whitener without using only white. So this is cobalt blue, which is a cool blue. <clears throat> Do I need manganese blue hue? Yeah, I'm going to put a little bit out. And then I did cobalt. King's blue might be a nice lightener too. Good morning, Dawn. <clears throat> I think that's a good lineup. And then, wait, let me clean this off, get my paper towel. Okay, I'm putting some video blue extra pale as a lightener, and then I'll use some of this permalba as white still can never find a very favorite white. I always feel like they're a little dry. They make me thirsty. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so there we go. Now I need to mix up blues, really. There's little accents of oranges in there. There's a little red, reddish, unripe berry back there. So I guess I So I guess I would say, like looking at these, this is something that's still always challenging to me. I think these are warm and that's more of a cool. So I think I'm gonna use, um, let me use some of the ultramarine blue and I'm gonna mix that <clears throat> with the slider yellow. That's very green. I don't want it that green, so I'm going to add more blue. That's a nice dark. I'm going to have to put a little bit of that perlene red in there. It's a nice warm color for my dark, dark areas, I think. Because we're not going to go black. Let me add more which means I'm gonna try and keep my dark areas cool and my lighter areas warm. I'm gonna add just a little bit of this video blue extra pale in here. Well, that's a pretty color, isn't it? A little more of that. So let me know if you have any questions. I'm just experimenting because I've never really tried to do a complimentary color exclusive painting like this. <clears throat> I like that. I'm going to make a little bit more of that. That's the kind of color I'm probably going to run out of. That's a nice neutral color for blue, a blue. Not quite mixed. <clears throat> Yeah, I like that. All right. So, yeah, that really looks like colors in there. So maybe I'll take a little and make a little bit of it lighter. So 
What are you guys all working on today? Is anybody having painting time today? Doris from Houston, hi, how are you? <clears throat> now I'm gonna take this cooler um, cobalt blue. I should darken that up with a little red too. That's a cool dark. Cool, I'm gonna add some of this um, <clears throat> King's blue. In there. Well, that looks a little bit bright to me. So if I want to make that less bright, I have to add a little bit of complementary, and I'm doing it <clears throat> as a cool. So I'm going to add a little bit of this. Maybe too much. Like that. That might have gone a little too green. <clears throat> add some more blue in there. Yeah, that's nice too. Because all the blues in there really aren't bright blues, but I do always, you know I love to add some bright blues in there. Oh, I should do my RNF pigment sticks. I almost forgot. How could I forget that? Wait to that. Yeah, those are nice. Definitely warm, definitely cool. Wait, someone said something here, sorry. Say good morning. You're painting and what it looks like iced coffee. Oh, over here. <laughs> That's my paintbrushes from when I do my um acrylic painting. I should I need I need new paintbrushes so badly. But that's a mess, isn't it? And my whole area here, because I have a lot of stuff in where I'm filming my workshop in New Hope, I feel like I'm like in the tiniest space now. Um, it's a little crazy. I'm just going to try to mix one more. Oh, isn't that a crazy color? That might be just way too crazy. There's no green in there. That went green so quickly. Let's this. Let's see what we get. So do you guys have my, um, I did that color, like it has color swatches. I want to work on that some more. If any of you don't have it, if you DM me, I'll send it to you. <clears throat> I don't know what, um, it might be on my website too, but I want to work on more of those as soon as I get through my collection launch and um, my online course. I have like a million ideas of other things I want to do. The course. Well, that's nice, completely different. How many, how many variations of color you can get just using, technically, two different colors? Hi, Art Gallery. How are you? <coughs> now I need a little bit of a brown color, <clears throat> or maybe more of a reddish. Let me add a little red for the... There's a <clears throat> berry in there that's kind of purple, which would mean I need that little blue. Maybe if I do a little bit of this. It's not quite going purple. So. It's a little strong in the burnt, <clears throat> burnt sienna family there. Let me get a little bit more King's Blue and <clears throat> put it out here. Yeah, Anita, I know, too many projects and ideas. <clears throat> if only I were better at narrowing down and only doing <clears throat> the most important things, but you know me, I'm not very good at that. I want to do all of the things immediately. Well, that's not too far off. That's getting a little bit purple. I need to make it a little bit more red. Oh, 
called mixing paint. Okay, that's good. Now I need to make this a little bit lighter. So what do I want to lighten that with to make it? Um, I might just mix it with a little bit of this. I think that's pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry. You can really see. I don't know. I think I think that's a nice start. <clears throat> Can you see them okay? I can get it a little closer. So I mean, that's kind of that reddish purple that's in that berry back there. <clears throat> and then I have a nice array of blues. I know they're fun, aren't they, Darcy? It is, it's cool to see how many, if you just take a couple of colors, what you can end up with. Oops, I lost it. We're good. Let's go down how creepy it is. Sorry about that. Okay. I could do a little bit of pigment stick just because it's fun, but I really should stay in my theme here and only do blues. <clears throat> do this red, yellow. Whoops. Oh, jeez. Look, I got it all over my, all over my hand. And under my fingernails. Are enough pigment sticks under your fingernails? It's not the best feeling. <clears throat> I don't know, I don't really see. Oh, here I could use a little bit of this. Um, Indian yellow, it's a nice one. Oh, I should clean, I'm cleaning my knife off because I'll come back into my studio and it will be caked and I'll never get it off. I'm just cleaning a little bit off. Let's do where we have some. Do a little hints of where colors are. It's not a lot of yellow, really. <clears throat> but if a little bit of that peeks through in the end, then that's fun. That's a little crazy. I'm going to do a little bit of this um, bright color that I love. Just add a little bit in. Are you guys all still planning to go on vacation in the midst of everything? We are still going to go, but we're going to kind of not. I'll be here. I'll be able to paint next Wednesday, and then I won't the following <clears throat> Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> but we're going to still go to vacation, but it's going to be very different. Like we're not going to, we're going to eat in and kind of keep things simple. There are definitely some things about all this that I like. I like life being a little more simple. I think I've adjusted. I can't get that little paper off of there. I think I have to though, it's stuck. So the paper gets like, I have to pull that off. Whoops, that was a whole piece of paint there. So I'm peeling this back a little bit. Now it's crunchy because I pulled that off. So I take a paper towel and clean some of the film off of there. I used to try and keep these all in their little sleeves, but I'm not very good at that anymore. <clears throat> I think that's enough. Oh, I have my cute, I love this one too. Sometimes I put colors in something just because I love the color more than anything else. Well, that's probably why I do most things. <laughs> that's a fun little start. Let's 
nice map. Everywhere is too crowded. It is crowded. <clears throat> Fortunately, we got a little beach town that I've gone to all my life, and we know kind of where the beaches are that people don't go to, <clears throat> which is good. And that's where we're going to be spending a lot of time. We'll put in a little bit of my dark areas. Now, I am almost absolutely sure I did not mix up enough paint. But it should be easier because I have fewer, fewer colors that I'm using. <clears throat> yeah, things are crazy right now. Could you do could you do the oil sticks at the end as a highlight? Sure, Doris. I don't know why you couldn't. They um so let me say you definitely could. I usually don't, only because they're like they're like wide or whatever. They're there's um they're un they're unpredictable. Like it's it's hard to put a mark down intentionally, and I feel that like as I go further into my paintings, I'm more intentional about my marks and things. So I think it might be a little random, but I also like when that happens, when, when that unexpected fun kind of thing happens. So it would be fun to try it. I always do love trying new things. I think that's when I get a little angsty about my art is if I'm doing the same thing too much. And that means I need to change things up and explore and try something new. And then that feeling usually goes away for a while. Until it's time to change it up again. Definitely didn't make enough of this dark color. Oh, is, that Span is that Spanish that you're writing to me? It looks beautiful. I don't know what you're saying, but it's pretty. So I'm just looking for my darkest dark areas. Just kind of putting them in. Another way I always want to paint is where you go and you start like in a center area and you just paint one thing at a time. Kind of start in the middle, paint one thing at a time and not go around your whole canvas the way I do. I think that would be a fun experiment to see what would happen. Because I love watching other artists that paint that way. It's fun to watch it evolve when it, it um, when you have to mix each color and kind of be sure you're putting it right in the right spot and then you leave it go and, and you're com comfortable thinking that it's all going to pull together. Whereas the way I paint, <clears throat> it all kind of comes together at the same time, which I think is probably easier, at least for me. All right, are there any other really dark areas? That... Where should it, like where my shadows are. I do feel like my canvas is, like painting one, um, canvas is much drier, I think, than the ampersand gesso boards. But I do like the, the look of the texture. I'm just looking to see if there's any other places I should have dark darks. I think that looks pretty good coming out. What materials? Oil. It's oil. I'm using oil paints. And I need a sip of my coffee. My co I love my, my coffee cup now has paint all over it. Little by little, it's getting filled up with paint. 
my little Yeti. Maybe if I use the same one forever. Now, when will we know about your online class? Oh, good question. Um, I, uh, I, now I forget the date. So we're still pulling it all together. My goal is to um, have it be available to sign up for it starting, I think, the third week in August. And then it's going to begin, I think, the second week in September, or maybe the third week. So soon. It's very soon that I'm going to have it all pulled together. I got the, um, the other day, my friend who filmed me sent me the, the, uh, like, the tra like the advertising, like the trailer, like the little teaser video, and I love it. It is so wonderful. He does such an amazing job. I'm very lucky to have someone to help me with it that, you know, he's really, a, he does like big, big deal projects and stuff. And he did this little project for me and my art and it's just going to be so pretty. So pretty. What do we think of this? Feels... I can see when I look in the in here what you guys are looking at it is kind of coming together so now what I want to do I want to think about my my where the shadow areas are and put in the warmer colors right dark, I need this to be I need still need to mix up more dark you know what I think it is I think the paint um soaks into the uh Paint definitely soaks in more on canvas than it does when I paint on um, <clears throat> the gesso panels. I need a little, a little in here. Guardado. I don't know what that means. Thank you, Ellen. Oh, the course will be in oil paint. Flat flowers. So it's six painting videos of six different floral paintings. And I'm going to release one um, every week for six weeks. So it's going to be so fun. <clears throat> And then if it goes well, I'll make others, you know, even acrylics or other kinds. I would love to make more. So we'll see how it goes. Let's see if it's a hit. And if you guys know of other people who you think might like the course, um, if you share it, that would be wonderful. It's so different. Yeah, Anita, it is. The canvas is harder than the board. Yeah. Or just different. Yeah. Because I always paint on canvas on bigger paintings, and I think that's kind of what inspired me to work on it this way now, because I am doing more, like I have a few commissions that I need to do a big painting, so I have to be much more comfortable with painting on canvas. Hmm, I'm thinking where do I want to go next? I'm going to make this. All right, remind me next time to mix more paint when I'm on canvas. Good lesson, right? Sometimes those um, RNF pigment sticks, they leave little 
little chunks of them on there that I have to clean off. <clears throat> Trying to keep my brush strokes Kind of big and confident, not overworking the little details. Always a challenge. Good challenge. I, think I always say one of the things that I think painting teaches me more than anything is patience. Because it's something I don't have much of. Most of the time it's to see on your YouTube. Oh, okay. Thank you, Henriette. I wasn't following that. Yes, I always try to save this and put it on my YouTube. But like last week, I it just gets wonky sometimes. So I tried to save it right away. I go in and, and that's the first thing I do when I sign off is I go to save my video. I save it to my phone. And if you don't go back to check to make sure it really saved, it doesn't usually happen. So I left. I tried to save it. And I went back and Instagram quit on me and I couldn't, I had to go back in and it was gone. The whole thing was gone. I was so bummed. So that was a fun one last week. But there's always a different week, right? Also, it takes me a really long time to get it to save to my computer. When I have a busy day at work, it's hard for me to focus on both. It's crazy. Hmm. This is oil paint. Dawn Sing. Yep. Thanks for answering, Rosemary. Why the color base is orange? It is. I just did a wash. A lot of times. In oil paintings, people do a wash of um, burnt sienna. So I'm just trying something new. I'm actually painting this only with oranges, blues, and a little bit of white. I'm still using the same brush. Yep. Because I'm a lazy brush cleaner. I don't like cleaning too many brushes. I actually got up early this morning and cleaned brushes before I was doing this because they were building up in my little brush cleaner area. So it mostly will cover over that color, but it's kind of, I mapped out what I was going to do. I don't know if it'll show or not. Hmm. It's a bit dark in there. I want to try to get that to come forward. Have you used pastels? Um, no, I haven't. Um, uh, maybe in college. Actually, I did find some oil pastels in my closet, my art cabinet closet of old stuff from college and thought that that would be fun to get them out and play with them, but I haven't done it. There's not enough time in the day to do all the art that I would like to do. I'm sure you guys all feel the same way. I'd love to have days where that's all I would do is art. I'll get there, I think, sometime. It's a little dark. Oops. That's good. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, I'm running out of paper towels. Let me get a couple more paper towels.
so this is the part of the painting where I always think that it looks terrible. Thank you, Anita. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you answering the questions for me. You know I do. But I always get to this point in the painting where I think, oh, my word. This is never going to turn out, and you guys are all watching me. But I know you're forgiving. <clears throat> and you know that all not all paintings turn out. And it is kind of an unusual... Um, thing to paint with this limited palette for me anyway not for everyone I'm thinking too much. I stopped talking. Um, where can I see more paintings? Oh, I have a YouTube channel or on my website. You can find either at either place. Darker right there. I like that. <clears throat> Needs a little bit of um, more color, yeah, more more saturation. That's all in shadow right here. That's a big shadow hanging. It's like a little bit of a highlight on it. So I want to make sure that looks like a shadow. And that's a shadow too. All right. <clears throat> sip and to look at it a little bit so those light areas where I did the um, the RNF pigment sticks are way too light um, play with a little bit of this color this kind of greenish color that I created <clears throat> I don't know, that might be crazy. Let me get out a little bit more of my cobalt blue. Because I want my highlighted areas to be more cool. Do you like the high contrast, Sandy? Thanks. It is, it is fun. So I want that cool.
That looks pretty nice. <clears throat> to say that painting I feel like painting on the ground of burnt sienna is a little distracting for me like it it's hard for me to see where I'm going with all that burnt sienna happening because now it's kind of coming together now that I don't have any of that showing but I guess it is it's like always it's a great um challenge to kind of keep your vision of where you're going even with limitations like that. Forty-seven, pretty good timing as always, <clears throat> right? So anyway, what's everyone doing today? Do you have fun things on your agenda? I mostly just have work, but some fun things for work, which it's always makes it better. It's like a star. I didn't even realize that. Do you see that's totally a star there in the middle? That's super fun. You guys probably all saw that. I have to accentuate the star. All day, every day. And Artie, what do you do all day, every day? Paint? Have fun? I'm going to do that all day, every day. Or work. <laughs> I missed what you said. Could be any of those things, right? This needs to go like that. All right. Oh, I'm missing this whole little little area here. Should probably make that cooler since it recedes a little bit. Putting together a handmade mixed media collage book. Oh, that's so fun. That sounds like so much fun. Yeah, I would love to try mixed media collage too. No, I want to try all of it. Oops. Where do I have some, um, uh, some of my color showing through? I guess it can show through. That's okay. Watching you paint while putting on makeup for work. Dangerous. <laughs> you don't need much makeup. My gosh, through all this, I hardly wear any makeup anymore. Probably only if you guys are going to see me. Not very often. That's one of the benefits, right? And it isn't even so much the putting on of the makeup. It's like, you know, the maintenance of taking it off at the end of the day. I 
I'm looking for little highlights here, little areas that I want to pop a little bit. <clears throat> get a little quiet when I'm thinking hard and I hold my breath too it's getting there the burnt sanding makes your eye takes your oh good D thank you that's good to think about it does and the whole idea from the video that I was watching last night, the whole idea of doing it, um, gosh, I have all dirty paper towels. I get them all, all over the place. i got to get rid of them. The whole idea of doing it this way and practicing with just doing, you know, like a limited palette and choosing two complementary colors and working with them is that it's, it makes the painting more cohesive, that it holds together better. Um, and I think that's true. And I like I do a couple little hints of color here. I need some bright highlights. Maybe I need the little thing in the middle there. Thank you. I'm glad you guys like it. Nice little. Of. I think I'm almost finished here. Um, to stop fussing with it um looking through the camera what you're seeing <clears throat> maybe right there i need a little dark do i have any other bright light light areas that i need to bring up maybe a little bit right here I think that's good. I think I'm only gonna go over the edge of having it not look nice. Better than the photograph. Thank you. Already. All right. Where's my little signing thing? I need to find a new one of these. I know I have more here somewhere, but let's see how that looks with that color showing through. Is pretty cool. Let me show you that closer. All right. There's my signature. There's the painting, and there's my image, and my very, very limited palette. So fun. Now wait, let me turn this around. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me today, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and we'll do it again next week, okay? Now I'll do my best to save this and post it. Hopefully that'll work. And thanks for coming. It was fun. See you. Bye.